Jody, how are you feeling? Yeah, really excited. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming. We've we've trained. We've been in training since November, but um, really, I've been looking forward to this moment. You know, for since I pulled on the boots at the age of nine. So, just really excited. Can't wait to um, get up there and um, be around the girls and, and jump on the plane. Have you talked to the girls about kind of controlling nerves and stuff like that at the big stage? Yeah, yeah. We um, I spoke to the girls after training last night and just said, you know, we we may only get one opportunity. You never know what can happen tomorrow. So. Just really enjoy your time out there and I think, you know, there'll be nerves, no doubt. I'll be nervous, but it's about controlling those and, and using them to our advantage. So as soon as we get our hands on the footy that after that first bounce, I'm sure the nerves will uh, escape and, um, yeah, we'll focus on hitting the scoreboard. It's a bit of unknown, Yeah, I mean, I've played uh, alongside some of them and I've also played against some of them. So, I mean, they've got a fantastic list that they've put together and, um, you know, they've been working really hard as uh, just like we have. So, I mean, I, I assume it will be a pretty tight contest um, and it'll be whoever wants the ball, ball more at the end of the day who's willing to play a four-quarter effort will we'll get the job done. So, hopefully we can get that job done on, uh, tomorrow night. Um, yeah, we did a bit of an oppo analysis last night, just on, um, I suppose, how we we assume that they will play, expect them to play. So we've got a little bit of a background on some of their plays and uh, their, their team as a whole, I suppose. But, I mean, we're more focused on how we're going to play the game, our roles for the team, and, and we'll go from there. What about the ground itself? So we're playing at Witten Oval, um, yeah. Well, a few of us have been lucky enough to play uh, there in last year's um, exhibition series. So, I mean, it doesn't vary from the big grounds that we have over here in the West. So, we'll, again, yeah, the first couple of minutes, no doubt, we'll, we'll get our, you know, we'll get our feel for it. Um, I suppose the ground and the environment. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just have to play our way, and, and hopefully that uh, pans out for us. We'll take, a, we'll take a chance to look around at the time of the, before the first bounce go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hopefully, I get a, a few moments, and hopefully, all the girls get a few moments to just soak it up and um, you know, and and understand what's about to happen. You know, it's the first ever time that that a female team will wear the Dockers jumper and um, you know play in an AFLW game. So definitely, hopefully, a few moments, a few seconds to soak it up, and then it's game on. Who are some of the players on the Dockers team? Yeah, we've got, I mean, there's 20, 22 of them that, um, you know, that... Oh, I mean, there's there's a number of them. I think the young girls that have really stepped up that um, aren't used to, I suppose, the training load and things like that. So you're Ashley Sharps, um, you know, a young 19-year-old girl that will break open a game, hopefully, and hopefully we do that on Saturday. And, and then the likes of your Hayley Millers, um, Ebony Antonio, it's just their power and their strength and... And just the way they read the game will be vital for us tomorrow night. Yeah, some yeah, well, <laughs> well, first ever game for some of them. Um, yeah, and and it's really important that the leaders of the club get around those girls, and, and you know we we support them and and make sure that, that those that nervous energy is is you know harnessed in a in a positive way. And um, I mean, no doubt we'll all be nervous. There's no doubt about that. And you just got to pretend that there's no camera crew or you know no one watching you. And you, we just got to really focus on playing our role and playing our game. Five on Channel 7. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either did I, to be honest. Um, yeah, that, she's a surprise packet, and you, you never know what you're going to get from her. And that Darwin game that we played Adelaide was just, I think, she just showcased what she can potentially do. And um, yeah, she's she's coming from a basketball background, so those skills, you know, can, I suppose, move over and shift over to the, the game of footy. And I can't wait to see what she can uh, bring to the table tomorrow night. Yeah, so we had a uh, scratch match the weekend after the Darwin game against Adelaide. Uh, so I played the WA talent talent girls um, here in WA, and yeah, she's she's a strong unit. Kim uh, leads up really great pair of hands, and yeah, snapped a few around her body. So um, yeah, she was obviously really uh, disappointed that she couldn't travel, but I have no doubt she'll hit the track next week and, and hopefully get the all clear.